Amen. We give God praise, amen, for everything that has been said and done. Yes. Amen. Now let's make ready to prepare our hearts and minds to receive. Yes. Amen. The word of the Lord. Yes. Amen. amen. If you would stand with me at this time, as it is customary to do. Amen. And turn your attention to the gospel according to St. Matthew. Chapter 18, verses 21 and 22. Again, that's the gospel according to St. Matthew. Chapter 18, verses 21 and 22. The scripture read, Then came Peter to him and said, Lord, how shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him. Yeah. Till seven times Jesus said unto him I say not unto thee uh -huh. until seven times but until Ooh, seven. seventy times seven. seven. Father yeah. Lord God in the name of Jesus. Again we love you we appreciate you we give you praise we give you thanks for everything that's been said and done here today, we pray that it has been pleasing in your sight. We pray now, Lord God, that you open up our hearts, our minds, and our understanding. Let us receive your word and receive it with gladness. And having received it, that we act upon it to do all that you have commanded of us. I pray that you give me the strength and the wherewithal to preach your word with love and humility. Again, that you may get the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. You may be seated. Glory to God. Amen. For those of you who are perhaps joining us for the first time, we're dealing with the fact that the Lord has commissioned His church to be at least five things. First of all, a moral church which we have already, amen, explored, as well as a disciplined church, yes. amen, as we have already talked about, amen. He's also called us to be a forgiving church, yes. a praying church, a praying church. and a witnessing church. Yes. And today we want to deal with a forgiving yes. church. Our subject today is a forgiving church. And in our text today, amen, we find Jesus himself teaching us about the long suffering and patience of forgiveness. Uh-huh. I find in today's society that forgiveness is only temporary. Mm-hmm. It is quickly said or spoken, but it only lasts for a fleeing moment. Come on, Bishop. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Amen. Glory to God. We're quick to say, I forgive you, yeah. but it's only for a fleeing moment. <laughs> Amen. There's an old adage. Amen. That talks about burying the hatchet. Mm. Amen. What it means is that it's all over. Amen. It's a done deal. Let it go. Amen. Let's just forget about it and let us move oh. forward. Isn't that right? right. We're going to bury the hatchet. Amen. However, some folks, uh, amen, they don't actually bury the hatchet. Say that. Mm -hmm. What they do is that they leave the handle sticking out. Uh oh. Tell it. Amen. So they can grab it and it. hit one another in the back. Time and time again. again. Lord, help us today. These things uh, should not be happening with the saints of God. Mm -hmm. Can I get a witness? Amen. Amen. If the hatchet is buried, let it be buried, handle and all. Come on. Isn't that right? That's right? Amen. Don't leave the handle yes. sticking out for our convenience just in case. You mess with me again. Uh -oh. Lord, help us today. <laughs> amen. I won't be before you long, so amen. Stay with me. All right? Amen. The word says that by this shall all men know that you are my disciples. 
Why? Because you have love one to another. Isn't that right? right. Amen. Amen. I contend that it is very, very difficult to spread the gospel now, when the church is constantly at war with itself. My God, when we are all members of one another, but we can be at war with one another. Isn't that right? The world needs to know, my friend, amen, that we are who we say we are and that we are about the Father's business. Am I right about it? If we can't forgive, then how can we expect the world to forgive? Yes. Amen. If anyone ought to be first to forgive, yes. then it ought to be the people of God. Can I get over this? Yes. Yes. Amen. I wish I had a praying church. Yes. Amen. Let's look closely then at our text. Amen. Matthew chapter 18, verses 21 and 22. Uh, we find here that Jesus had just finished teaching on how to resolve conflict between one another. Amen. Ain't God good? Yes. yes. Amen. Paying, people are paying hundreds of dollars, thousands of dollars to get teaching on conflict resolution. Now, when the word has already taught us, even by Jesus himself, how to deal right. with conflict. My God, my God, the Bible has what we need. Yes, it does. We may not accept it. We may not believe it all. We may not want to adhere to it. Amen. But it's all in the book. Somebody say the, the, book. Book. the book. Amen. And so when Jesus has finished... Amen. Teaching on how to resolve conflict. Uh, the Bible said, Then came Peter to him and said, Lord, how oft shall my brother sin against me? In other words, how often he is to wrong me and wander away from the law of God. Amen. When we wrong someone, amen, we wander away from the law of God. Isn't that right? Amen. Glory to God. When, when, when we hurt someone, amen, we stray away from the word of God. Isn't that right? Amen. And Peter said, how, how, how often am I to do this and how often am I to forgive him? Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. Uh, should it be seven times? Uh, so Peter asked a question uh, and then he answered with a question. Uh, amen. Should it be seven times? Why seven times then? Amen. Seven communicated uh, a sense of fulfillment or completeness in Scripture. In other words, seven often symbolizes uh, completion of perfection. Right. Uh, and I can only imagine, amen, that Peter was thinking uh, that seven times would be enough uh, to be wrong and then uh, forgiveness of someone to be forgiven. Uh, yeah. Seven times to, should be enough in one day. Can I get a witness? Yes, uh, yes. Oh, yeah, in, in one day, praise the Lord. I imagine I'm trying to think like Peter was thinking, amen, amen. How often should I do it? Seven times. Uh, amen. You think after seven times, someone uh, should get the message to be complete. Uh, uh-huh, praise the Lord. Uh, amen. But I understand, praise the Lord. Uh, amen. But it showed then how one can be so stubborn uh, on, and persistent. Uh, and going out of their way uh, to wrong and trouble someone else. Uh, my God, my God. Yeah, there are people who are so cantankerous. Uh, amen. Glory to God. So mean spirit. Uh, so low down and trifling. Uh, amen. That they will wrong 
you a man seven times, seven times a day. Praise the Lord. <laughs> ah, but we need to get Jesus teaching on this. Yes. Isn't that right? Yes. Amen. Glory to God. And after the first time, you know we are then ready to throw down. Right. Can I get a witness? Or oh, you know how we act. Amen. Child, you are getting on my nerves. Uh-huh. You had better leave. Me alone. Me alone. Oh, uh, yeah. You had better get out of my face. Uh, you had better get the step. And the whole time you talking, uh, you preparing yourself to do battle. Uh, earrings coming off. Uh, amen. Some of you may even pull your wig. Uh, can I get a witness? Uh, mm -hmm. Men begin to massage the knuckles and fists and carry on. Uh, Amen. You done got fed up. Amen. Not at the seventh time, uh, but you ready to fight at the second time. Uh, yeah. Can I get a witness yeah. in the hill? Uh, yeah. Oh, yes. Amen. Glory to God. At that point then, uh, uh. forgiveness is not on your mind. Uh. Uh, now you're ready to Good fight. Uh, Lord, have mercy. But listen. Listen, listen, listen to me, praise the Lord. In verse 22, uh, mm -hmm. Jesus says unto Peter, uh, uh -huh. I say not unto you until seven times, uh, amen, but until 70 times seven. Uh, oh, my God. Uh, that's 490 times uh, of wrongdoing act. Forgiveness. <laughs> my God, my God. <laughs> 490 times. Uh, if he or she offends you 490 times in that day, uh, then you ought to forgive them 490 times. Uh, he didn't say nothing about going to Fist City. Amen. He didn't say nothing about getting in the Dukes of Hatters. Uh, amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, he didn't say nothing about losing your sweetness uh, and talking about you don't want to fool with that person uh, no more. No more. Uh, my God, my God. Uh, and so what is Jesus teaching here then? Uh, Jesus is teaching us uh, that we have to be willing uh, and ready to forgive uh, countless times. Uh, isn't that right? Uh, whenever uh, wherever uh, and whatever it takes. Uh, can I get a witness? Uh, I'm glad I didn't write this. Uh, amen. The word requires it. Uh, isn't that right? Uh, right. It's right there in the front of you. Jesus says 70 times. Uh, seven. My God, my God. Uh, I don't know what Peter's reaction was after that, uh, but I can imagine him saying, my goodness. Uh, that's an awful lot of times uh, to forgive somebody. Uh, oh, but the word would teach us later on uh, why then it is so important uh, to be ready to forgive. Uh, can I call on another witness? Uh, amen. Jesus teaches us uh, in the gospel according to Mark. Uh, amen. Chapter 11 and verse 25 and 26. Uh, we need to listen to this uh, because it's so important. Uh, especially if we want to make it in. Uh, I don't know about you, but I, I want to make it in. Uh, can I get with you? Uh, if I got an all against you, you need to let me know. Uh, and if I got one against you, I'll let you know. Uh, right. Can I get a witness amen. in here? Uh, amen. amen. Just on last week, amen, Pastor Graham said to me, Pastor, I got something against you. Uh, and I need to talk to you. She was nice about it. She was nice about it. And I appreciated that. Amen. I didn't know what I had done wrong. Uh, amen. Praise the Lord. They brought Brother Martin. I didn't know what I had done. Uh, but I needed to know, you see. I needed her to get it all her chest. Uh, get it all her mind and talk to me. Uh, amen. So I was receptive. What I not? Amen. Praise the Lord. She said, y'all left town and I didn't even know you were gone. Uh, praise the Lord. And so when it was time to do announcements, there was some confusion. Uh, because I didn't know what to do. I said, well, forgive me. I, I said, I told 
amen, Elder Turner, and I told Brother Mark, I just neglected to tell you, amen, it just slipped my mind, I guess, I guess I figured the announcements would take care of it, amen, but that didn't work, you see, praise the Lord, so I took the whole responsibility, and I said, well, next time, I'll just tell everybody, amen, because Jim, when the pastor say he's not going to be in town, amen, a lot of folks take that time to stay at home. Uh, praise the Lord, amen. If figure they stay at home, I wouldn't know it because I wouldn't be here. Uh, praise the Lord, but I done fixed that. Uh, right. Amen. I'm just going to let you all know I won't be here. Uh, whether you come or not, that's on you. That's uh, right. Because you got to work out your heart. So salvation. Amen. So I told her, forgive me, forgive me. Uh, it won't happen again. Amen. Praise the Lord. But she had to get it off for mine. Uh, and I appreciate that. Can I get a witness? Uh, amen. amen. That was no love loss. I didn't get ugly. Uh, I didn't say, well, I'm the pastor. I'll let you know if I want you right. to know. Uh, obviously, I didn't want you to know. So I didn't even tell you. Praise the Lord. Uh, that wasn't my reaction. That's right. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. That was not my reaction. Uh, amen. Because this is what the word teaches us yeah. in Mark chapter 11, uh, verse 25 and 26. Uh, Jesus said, when you stand praying, yeah. Yeah. he said, forgive. When you stand praying, forgive. Yeah. If you have aught against any. Uh, isn't that right? Uh, right. Amen. You know if you got an ought against somebody. Yeah. Uh, amen. When you are praying. Uh, because the Holy Ghost will bring it to yeah. your remembrance. Yes, uh, can I get a witness? Yeah. Uh, and some of us have the audacity uh, to keep on praying. Uh, when we know we got an ought against somebody. Uh, my God help us here today. Uh, he says uh, you have to forgive. Uh, why? That your father also uh, which in heaven uh, may forgive you your trespasses. Uh, that he may forgive you your wrongdoing. Because uh, you ain't all that in a bag of peanuts. Uh, my God, my God. Uh, amen. You have issues yourself. That's right. Uh, That's and right. you need to get it right. right. Uh, right. But yet we're going to come all off to be full of the Lord and thou art this, that, and the other. Amen. Glory to God. He who created the heavens and the earth. Uh, oh, Lord God. Uh, amen. God said you ought to be asking uh, for forgiveness. Uh, can I get a witness yes. in here? Uh, amen. So that he will forgive you your trespass. Uh, verse 26 said, but if you do not forgive. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I didn't write this now. I'm just reading it. Uh, but if you do not forgive, uh, neither will your father, which is in heaven, uh, forgive you of your wrongdoing. Uh, and if he doesn't forgive you of your wrongdoing, uh, I got a sense that somebody, uh, I ain't going to see him. Uh, can I get a witness? Uh, amen. We're going to open up the doors of hell wide uh, and we're going to march on up in there. Uh, amen. So God said we need to forgive yes, uh, yes. if we want to be forgiven by him. Uh, right. Isn't that important? Yes, uh, sir. So what this tells me then uh, is that we got folks praying uh -oh. uh, who are not receiving forgiveness uh, from God because they have not forgiven uh, others. Isn't that right? right. Uh, can you see how important uh, yeah. forgiveness is? Uh, can I get a witness in yeah. here? Uh, can I help you sleep at night? Uh, oh, yes. Uh, it'll keep you cool, calm, and collected. Uh, my God, my God, it'll do good for your health. Uh, as well as your mind yes. sets. Uh, can I get a witness? Uh, it's good when you can pass your sister and your brother uh, and greet them yes. in love yes. uh, and do it with a heart of sincerity. Yeah. My God, my God. Yes. Uh, it just does not make sense uh, amen, to avoid one another. Uh, hold your head down and fumble with your things like you're busy. Uh, amen. So they can get past you. Uh, and so that you won't be like, I know how you act. I know how you act. Praise the Lord. I know how you act. I wasn't born yesterday. Uh, amen. Glory to God. We got some sliding, slick ways. Oh, Lord. 
Yes, hey Amen. I'm a born in one another. I'm a born in the history. Yes, sir. Can I get a witness Amen. up in here? Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Let me call on another witness. Oh, no. Amen. And I won't have but one more after that. But Romans chapter 12 yes. uh, yes. and verse 19 says, uh, Give a little love. Yes. Uh, avenge not yourselves. Uh, in other words, it is not your place to punish a person. Uh huh. Amen. This is what the ungodly does. Yes. Uh, yes. Isn't that right? Uh, right? But he said, but rather give place unto wrath. In other words, leave room, amen, so the laws can be enforced, amen, glory to God, and if it's not just when they do, God will take care of it, how many of you believe that God will take care of it, all we have to do, my friend, is do what the Bible has commanded us to do, amen, for it is written, Vengeance uh -oh. is mine. Uh, amen. It belongs to God. It doesn't belong to me. Uh, ain't no sense of me getting back at you. Uh, ain't no sense of me getting mad at you. Uh, ain't no sense of me dodging you. Uh, ain't no sense of me not talking to you. Uh, can I get a witness yes, in here? Uh, God said, me. Uh, my, my. He said, not. Uh, and I will repay. <laughs> says the Lord. In other words, my friend, let the law be enforced and the officers of the law do their duty. Yes. Amen. And if they are unfaithful and oppressive, God will take care of them. Can I get a witness? Uh, my God, my God, let me give you one more passage. Uh, amen. Glory to God. In case your mind is on the Super Bowl. Uh, amen. And you're in a hurry to get up out of here. Uh, amen. Glory to God. I pray you have heard what I've said thus far. Uh, amen. Rather than thinking about statistics. Uh, amen. Glory to God. Let's look at Luke. Uh, amen. Chapter 17. Uh, verses 3 and 4. And I'll amplify it for you as I read it. Is that all right? Amen. Luke 17, amen, verse 3 and 4. Jesus said, take heed to yourselves. In other words, pay attention and always be on guard. Looking out for one another. Right, Isn't it. that good news? Yeah. Be on guard and let us look out for one another. Isn't that right? right. He didn't say let us talk about one another. Right, 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 uh, but let us look out for one another. Look out means for our good. Yes. For our benefit. And that's right. So we too can prosper as well. I wish I could get some help in here. Amen. Listen to what he said. Uh, he said, if thou brother, uh -huh. and that means a sister too, uh, right, right. trespass against thee or wrong thee, uh, he said to rebuke him. Uh, amen. I don't, 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 don't get the fighting spirit now. Uh, don't let the word rebuke, amen, get you excited. Right, right, right. Uh, amen. In other words, uh, he's saying if your brother sins uh, or misses the mark, uh, then we ought to solemnly tell him so uh, and then reprove him. Uh, isn't that right? Uh, oh my God. Uh, and if he repents, uh, forgive him. Uh, isn't that right? Uh, in other words, if he repents uh, and feels sorry for having sinned, uh, forgive him. Uh, can I get a witness? Uh, and if he then uh, a man trespassed against thee seven times uh, in a day. <laughs> my God, my God. Uh, I submit to you if someone uh, has to trespass against you seven times in a day, uh, they obviously love being around you. Uh, or you love being around them. Uh, can, I get, uh, can I get a witness in here? Uh, some folk love trouble. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Some folks just like yeah. to be in mess. Yeah. Uh, can I get a witness? Yeah. Uh, their whole life 
sound. Amen. It's shitting around mess. Can I get a witness in yes, here? Yes. But Jesus said, look, now if he sinned against you yes. seven times in a day, uh, amen. Then seven times in a day, uh, you ought to turn again to him, uh, saying, Amen, I repent. Uh, amen, thou shalt forgive him. Uh, amen, if he sinned against you seven times, uh, and he asked for forgiveness for seven times, uh, then you ought to forgive him. Uh, can I get a witness? Yeah, yeah. It's not a time to become upset. <laughs> my God, my God. Uh, he said forgive, forgive him or her. Isn't that right? Yes, uh, right. Even if he sinned against you seven times. Seven times. Uh, <laughs> amen. Turn to you seven times and say I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> I didn't mean to do it. <laughs> I just don't know what happened to come over me. Oh. Uh, amen. You know that. You know that. <laughs> Some people just is all together. Right, right, right. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. Some of us, we're just not all together. Right? All Amen. I believe we were talking about that this morning. <laughs> Amen. Having two minds. Uh, amen. Two souls living in one body. Uh, can I get a witness? Uh, and oftentimes we wonder how can they be asking me for forgiveness again? Uh, after they have already asked for it before and then yet turn around again uh, and do the same thing. Uh, well, it doesn't matter. Uh, amen. About their psychological state. Uh, if they come and ask for forgiveness, uh, then we all to forgive. Isn't that right? That's right. Mm -hmm. And so I submit to you today, through the teaching of Jesus, that we must give up resentment. We must give up anger. We must give up bitterness. We must give up hatred. Can I get a witness in here? And consider the offense as recalled and annoyed. In other words, consider it as void and canceled. Yes. Can I get a witness? Yes. Why? Because God has called us to be a forgiving church. Can I get a witness? Yes. Amen. I didn't call you to be that. God called us to be that. Yes. Isn't that right? right? Amen. We got to get along up in here. Yes. Saints everywhere, all over the world. Uh, need to be getting along. Yes, uh, yes. Can I get a witness in here? Yes. Uh, yes. If the world see that we can't love, uh, then they can see that they don't belong in the house of prayer. Right. Uh, amen. Because it couldn't possibly be a house of prayer. Uh, obviously, a house uh, of fighting. Yes. Amen. At this yes, uh, These things ought not to be named. Uh, amen. Right. Among. God's people. Wow. Uh, can I get a witness? Uh, and so I throw myself at your mercy. Uh, if I've offended you in any way, uh, you need to talk to me. Uh, don't put it on Facebook. Uh, amen. Go with the God. Don't start gossiping. Uh, don't run and tell nobody else. Uh, you need to come to me uh, because the word of God teaches us. Uh, that you need to go to that person and go to him alone. Yeah. Uh, in other words, you got to go in private uh, and you yourself talk to him or her. Uh, and then if they want to act crazy, uh, then you come the next time with witnesses. Uh, isn't that right? That's right. Uh, and if they don't want to hear you, then praise the Lord. Uh, then you take it to the elders. Why? Uh, my God, my God. Uh, if they go, uh, praise the Lord. Amen. And if they don't want to be heard there, uh, then they become a heathen. Uh, my God, my God. One who is wandered away from God. Uh, they become a publican. Uh, detested by all. Uh, can I get a witness? Uh, so I'm at your mercy. Uh, always. Uh, my God, my God. Uh, if I've offended you in any way. Uh, you can let me know. Uh, amen. Praise the Lord. I ain't got to roll out no red carpet. Uh, you ain't got to work through seven, eight tears just to get to me. Uh, you can call me directly. Uh, can I get a witness in here? Uh, my God, my God. Because God has called us to be a forgiving church. Right. Is that all right? Yes. Yeah. Is that all right? That's all right. 
Because that's what it's all about. That's what it, that's it. Oh, yes, a moral church. Yeah. A disciplined church. Praise, Praise the Lord. <laughs> and a forgiving church. My God, my God. And when we come back again, amen, we'll look at the other two. A praying church and a witnessing church. My God, my God. Stand to your feet all over the house. Amen. Whatever you need, God's got it. Yes. Whatever you need, God's got it. God's got it. He's merciful. He's kind. Yes, he is. And he's forgiven. Yeah. My God, my Thank God. You, you ready to save? Yeah. Ready to deliver? Mm -hmm. Ready to heal and to set free? Yeah. Ready to wash and cleanse? and fill you with the Spirit and then ready to use you for His glory. Whatever it is, even though of you who are watching this broadcast, God is ready. Whatever you need, He's able. My God, I submit to you to relinquish it unto Him because He cares for you. Father, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, we love you, we thank you for who you are. We thank you for your saving grace, your mercy, your long suffering. Help us to be as you are, Lord God. In the name of Jesus. Help us to forgive. So that when we pray, oh Lord God, we too will be forgiven of our trespasses. In the name of Jesus. Help us, Lord. Help us to do it. Help us to do it. In the name of Jesus. For we can't be in agreement here. How can we be in agreement in heaven? Mm -hmm. Help us, Lord God. We need your help. Yes. We need your help. I need your help. In the name of Jesus. Make us over, Lord. You yes. are the part and we are the clay. Break us if you must. Mm. And make us over here. Yes. Vessels unto honor. That you may be glorified. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Help us to forgive, Lord. In the name of Jesus. So that we'll be forgiven. Let us be true worshipers. True sisters and brothers. In your kingdom. In the name of Jesus. Help us to love to no end. Seeking to understand one another. In your holy name, oh Lord God. Help us. Because we need you. In the name of Jesus. Say it and say it. To the uttermost. In the name of Jesus. Give strength to the weak. Healing to the sick. Liberty to the bound. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we love you. We appreciate you. And we give you praise. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. You may be seated.